Dotson, have you seen a difference in Mark Dotson this week now that he's you know gotten some a taste of it? Yeah, I think uh, he's had a little bit more excitement and enthusiasm about practice. Uh, not that he hadn't had it all year, but you can see a little bit more of a bounce in his step. And, uh, you know, it felt like that he has a real shot of uh, helping us out on Saturday. So, yes, it's been a little bit of a change. Was there kind of a frustration level or a wall for him, you know, early? I don't know if it's truly frustration. I think, um, you know, any kid that uh, come out of high school with the abilities that he had and uh, the type of career he had, they all want to play. And uh, I wouldn't want a guy in here that didn't want to be on the field. So I don't know if it's just typical frustration, but uh, just eager for a chance to get out there and show what he can do. What do you do to you know manage that? Because it wasn't just him. It was also Kalo and Jordan Wilkins. You had lots of guys that were used to being the guy. Right. I, I think all the guys understand that when they come in. I think in order for, for Ole Miss to get to the point where we want to be, we do, all those guys know that they, we have to have a, a number of guys with that same amount of ability, uh, from Jalen to Jeff to I train. Uh, Kalo, Mark, you know, all those guys have to be able to have the ability to go out and perform at a, at a minute's notice. And just whenever your number's called, be ready to go. How do you keep, how do you keep Mark involved when, when Jeff comes back? Uh, you know what? We'll probably come up with some different packages uh, to get them all involved. Um, I think that's the, that's the easy plan or early plan right now to help them all get on the field. Looking back on it now, the way that Walton and Mathers were thrust into a major role, what's your what's your evaluation of how they responded? I thought they've uh, responded really well. I think they've uh, really uh, took the bull by the horn, so to speak. And uh, you know, it's never been about their ability. Uh, they've just been waiting again for the opportunity to get on the field to show what they can do. I'm glad a year ago that they got to get the little the little experience that they did. So right now, they don't have any type of stage fright. Uh, the big lights don't bother them at all. They just go out and perform uh, to their capabilities and things they knew they could always do. What's been your impression of Jordan Wilkins? Um, you know what? I get feedback every day. I don't get to see him except uh, doing individual period, but I get feedback every day from the defensive coaches. And uh, he's a beast down there for what I'm hearing. Uh, he is the big back that we want on our program. And, uh, you know, he's getting a chance to show and give our defense the right look every week. And uh, I'm just looking for special things for him to bring to the table. A guy, you know, 6'2", 215, 220 range, they can bring another dimension to our offense.